In today's video, I'm going to be talking about unidentified aerial phenomena, UAPs. We used to call them UFOs, unidentified flying objects. But my goal is to talk about UFOs, UAPs, and how it relates to the rapture because I believe there is a black swan event, if you will, coming where there's going to be a massive, massive cover up when it comes to the rapture. Because right now there's a lot of Christians that are confused about where to find the rapture in the Bible. And they're like, it's not there. There's no such thing as the word rapture in the Bible. And let me tell you, there is no such word as the Bible in the Bible. So when we talk about the rapture, we're talking about being taken from earth to heaven. So basically we meet Jesus Christ in the air. He brings the saints with him with the clouds and we go up and meet him in the air so that's uh first thessalonians 4 and as we progress through this little video series again i'm not sure if i'll make one of these every single day or once a week uh, i'm gonna my goal is to try and keep these videos like five to ten minutes in length in order to be able to upload videos consistently and then also to give you nice little golden nuggets something to chew on and then hopefully you'll come back uh again and again as we go deeper <clears throat> so let's just go to the scripture because i always like to uh jump into the bible first read a verse and then we'll dive into the topic of uap so let's just go to the book of revelation if you don't know much about my youtube channel my channel's centered around the idea that we could be in a black swan event and not even know it. And that's one of the one of the three traits of a black swan event is that you don't know you're in it until you're on the other side of it. And when you're on the other side of it, then you look backwards and you go, oh man, we should have saw all the signs, but we didn't. And the other two features of a black swan event is it's a world changer, basically a game changer. So it could be an invention. It could be aliens landing on the planet and just changing everybody's perspective. It could be um, a natural disaster that that is so diverse in nature that nobody saw it coming. Or it could be uh, start a huge uh, financial crash if you will something that is out of the ordinary but it has to be world changing it has to change how we view the world the next day 9-11 would be an example of that we didn't see that coming planes being <clears throat> attacked or uh, buildings being attacked by planes but then on the other side of it, after it happened, we're like, we should have saw that coming. There were signs everywhere. So that's what this channel is about. That's what this little series, The Rapture Corner, is going to be about. So if you like this kind of thing where we talk about aliens, UFOs, UAPs, then this is a channel for you. Subscribe, leave a comment, and... Uh, Welcome aboard. All right, so let's go to Revelation chapter 13, verse 13. Isn't that interesting? Unlucky number 13 in the book of Revelation, talking about uh, the end of the world. Chapter 13, verse 13. Look at this here. Talking about the beast of the earth. So I'll just go to verse 11 first. Chapter 13, verse 11. And I beheld another beast coming up out of the earth. And he had two horns like a lamb. And he spoke as a dragon. And he exerciseth all the power of the first beast before him. And causeth the earth and them which dwell therein to worship the first beast. 
whose deadly wound was healed. Keeping in mind, we are not here. We have just been raptured. So verse 13, and he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men. So great wonders means people can't figure it out. It's so wonderful. It's so awesome. It's so terrible that really it, it, it's going to be very difficult for scientists to disprove, if you will. A lot of them are going to be having heart attacks because of all the changes that are happening uh, in space, if you will, with all the stars shifting and all kinds of stuff. Verse 14, <clears throat> And deceiveth them that dwell on the earth by the means of those miracles which he had power to do in the sight of the beast. This is the false prophet. That they should make an image to the beast which had the wound by a sword and did live. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads that no man might <clears throat> buy or sell save he that had the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. He hears wisdom. Let him that hath understanding count the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man, and his number is six hundred three score and six. So we're talking about the Antichrist here. So we have the false prophet that is creating signs and wonders. <clears throat> I, I'm i kind of leaning to the idea that Elon Musk could be uh, the false prophet because he's designing Neuralink. He's got all this stuff going on where he just can't wait for artificial intelligence to take over the world. And we see in the book of Revelation chapter 13, <clears throat> that it looks like the image is artificial intelligence. It becomes sentient. And it's right there. This book was written 2,000 years ago. We've been talking about this ever since I was a child in church. They were saying that the number of the beast represents tattoos, markings on the forehead, all this kind of stuff. We're just not sure how that's going to work out. And we couldn't figure it out back then. But now we're, we're understanding this a little bit more that this could very well be artificial intelligence whether that's opening up portals to the demonic realm that actually possesses this this image that's debatable but the key verse verse 13 and he doeth great wonders so that he maketh fire come down from heaven on the earth in the sight of men if you want to trick somebody into believing that there are aliens and ufos and because i'm a christian I've never for one second believed that there is alien life forms out there other than angelic entities, if you will. Angels, good and bad angels that can have vehicles, whatever you want, but it's all angelic. It's all demonic. It's either good or bad. Not aliens. Not aliens. So you can look at that as saying alien because they're not from Earth. Fair enough. Fair enough. But from my perspective... I'm talking about the angelic realm. And then on earth, any of the beings, any creatures that are created are either hybrids of uh, artificial intelligence, combining people with creatures and all kinds of stuff, recreating the Nephilim, if you will. And I'll, I'll dive into that in another video. But I wanted to give a definition of what a UAP is and then talk about the proof that the Pentagon has about uh, some of the sightings over the past few years. So let's just let's just have a definition here. This might be a little bit longer than 10 minutes, I see. But hopefully uh, this will be a good introduction, especially for people that are that are not sure what we're talking about. So <clears throat> UAPs, what are they? Well, they are unidentified aerial phenomena. The reason why this was, uh, why this term is coming up, UAP, these, uh, this acronym, 
is because people are sick and tired of the idea of UFOs. They're basically, it's, it's too broad and people are always thinking of green aliens and all kinds of stuff like that. Uh, Spock, uh, Star Trek, all this kind of stuff, ET, extraterrestrials, all this. They wanted to move away, they meaning whoever came up with this, the government, if you will, uh, other various organizations that have an invested interest in fooling us people. Um, they, they wanted to move away from UFOs. So what they are doing now is combining the, the letters UFO and they would say it in all the news outlets, uh, we have UFO sightings, we have UAP sightings. They put them both together in one sentence. And the more they do that, the more you get used to the idea of UAPs associated with UFOs. And then eventually they're going to drop UFOs once uh, there's enough people that understand that terminology. So uh, one of the videos I watched was the Pentagon releases shocking video of a UFO. And then they, the channel, I think, was called The Proof Is Out There. And <clears throat> when you watch the footage, you're like, it's just a blip. You don't see it. It's just like a little tiny dot on the screen. And with all the technology that we have with satellites, with the most amazing cameras, 4K and beyond, uh, that's all that the Pentagon could release from the, one of their airships is basically a little blip that goes across the screen. A kid in kindergarten could make something like that in Photoshop or in After Effects or something, and it's easy. So you got to give a little bit better proof than that. So anyways, <clears throat> the proof is out. So uh, what are some of the observations, if you will, so that you know that uh, the, whatever it is that's out there is a UAP? Well, there are what is known as five observables. <clears throat> so the first thing is anti-gravity lift. That is a big one. They're saying it has to defy gravity. And it's going to be shocking to you when you see it. It'll be like, this This doesn't make any sense. Um, it has to be able to accelerate very quickly. It has to move at hypersonic speeds without any kind of thrust. Or exhaust that way if you're using after effects you can make sure it looks really good without worrying about um, exhaust and trying to do all the particle simulations and all this kind of stuff um, it's also very hard to see or to or to um, or they use some kind of a cloaking device so now you're talking about objects that are invisible to the naked eye and then they can mask things and then it's going to be very hard to identify it because they're like, well, it's invisible. Can't see it. it. has a cloaking device. How convenient. We can't see these objects. They're too fast for our eyes. Um, they defy gravity. They go straight up in the air, so we can't see them. They're so fast. They come out of the water. That's, that's, another, that's another observable um, event, if you will is that they have to move from water to air seamless, seamlessly. So again, they go to mock speeds without visible propulsion. Um, the majority right now, the majority of the sightings are from military vehicles, meaning it's an inside job right now. <clears throat> the government obviously has the military so they can just send people up in planes with their cell phones. <laughs> why they would do that when they have the most amazing cameras to be able to do surveillance over other countries like China, Russia, Ukraine. But they're going to send the military up using their cell phones to take imagery, videos, if you will, of these uh, UAPs. Because that's the best that we have to offer. So when you see that happening in the news over and over again... Um, it's going to be a little bit tough to buy un until you start getting used to it. So because right now we're not used to it, and especially 
most Christians don't believe in aliens, really. Let's just be honest. So when we see this stuff, like this is just all make-believe stuff. They're just, they're creating some kind of a convert, uh, what do you call it? A cover-up, a strategy to um, put a veil over our eyes. And one of those ways to do it is to continually feed us with information that you can't prove. I'm not saying that it isn't real. I'm saying that it's hard for us, the public, to prove it because when we look at it on screen, we're like, oh, that's just a blip. And we're like, yeah, but that's that's alien technology. They have a cloaking device that we can't, so we can't see it. So they're also going to be using words like here on Earth and just keep hammering subliminal messages to you so that you get the idea that <clears throat> we're talking about here on Earth and we're talking about aliens out there. And the more they say it, the more they talk about aliens, uh, studying our military, studying certain buildings, you're going to start getting used to that in the media. And really, it's only been in the last few years. So what they're really pushing right now is uh, the Pentagon to give us explanations. Because that seems to be the only, the only people on the planet, not scientists, but government agencies that can that can help us understand what these uaps are so what we'll also be seeing in future videos is going to be things like they're going to be saying things like it could be alien it might not be alien but it looks like alien because it's not from earth um who knows just to put that plant that little seed of doubt in you um, then they'll say things like it's definitely unknown, definitely not 100%, but it's definitely unknown and it's intriguing because they want us to be curious about all this kind of stuff. So those terms are just going to keep hammering us throughout the various media outlets over the next few weeks, leading to what I believe is the highest watch time in September between September 15th and September 30th. And this is all gearing up to the idea that, let's just say the rapture had happened. If you've been hammering this stuff in the media for weeks and months, you could easily say, aliens, we just found out, the Pentagon just released this data, that aliens have been targeting uh, military bases, they've been targeting our planes, our aircraft, so what we're doing is we're going to be uh, monitoring the aircraft as well, making sure that our flights only happen at certain times of day because we noticed during certain times in the evening that these aliens are really watching us, so we're going to manipulate that a little bit, and then also we noticed that these aliens are also monitoring religious structures for some reason we're not sure some of these buildings uh, are located in dallas texas or california and these are coincidentally these big mega churches and for some reason these aliens are hovering over these buildings we're not sure why uh why they're doing that and all this kind of stuff and then all of a sudden because you say this enough times if the rapture happens, you can actually destroy those buildings. You can actually say that the aliens attacked religious centers, some of the libraries, some of the schools, whatever it is. So we're evacuating people. And uh, <clears throat> we don't understand. We're going to do everything in our power to protect religious buildings. We're not sure why these aliens are attacking and blowing up these religious structures. And... It's mainly because we're out of here. We've been raptured. And then afterwards, the next day, the fallout, if you will, they can easily say, well, we, we noticed that there were several people missing. We're, we're not sure who's missing right now. Um, but several of the religious structures were destroyed, burnt down, whatever it is. And there are several people that are missing. We'll give you an update in a few weeks as to um, the numbers. But what we have right now is for some reason, 
the alien entities, if you will, are now going towards bridges and they're going towards um, high buildings downtown and all this kind of stuff. So we're keeping an eye on that. And then also maybe um, structures out on remote islands or up north, maybe they're heading towards Antarctica or whatever. But if you start talking like that, you can actually move people's awareness away from what had just happened. And if you can do that for a long enough period of time and overwhelm people with data, numbers and all this stuff, they'll forget about the rapture because now people are like, oh no, they're actually coming to our neighborhoods, these aliens. <clears throat> so we had to, we got to buckle down and batten down the hatches and stay in our homes for our own protection. Obviously, I'm just guessing right now, but I, I'm, I'm trying to paint a picture as to how the masses can be manipulated by saying these aliens have actually destroyed religious centers. They've abducted people. We're not sure who got abducted, how many, all this kind of stuff. But it's really everyone that believes in Jesus Christ is out of here. My humble opinion. So I think this you need a interruption like this to cause mass chaos so that the antichrist can show up in the world with artificial intelligence and say we need to clean this whole thing up because we're going to be monitoring the stars space everything out there because things are going on in order to protect you the people because we don't want more people kidnapped taken by these aliens which is really the rapture of the church. So that's kind of my humble opinion. I know it sounds like science fiction and stuff, but really when you're watching the media and all this stuff that's going on, all this craziness, like there's so many distractions that you, you don't know which thing to follow. It wouldn't be hard to throw something like this into the mix and say it was aliens abducting people from the earth and the next time it happens, we're going to protect ourselves and we're going to protect our people because we're, we are the earth. We are the Avengers. We're the defenders, whatever you want to call it. So anyways, that's my thoughts uh, for today. And, and uh, I don't know when the next time I'll post a video like this, maybe tomorrow, maybe next Sunday, uh, just depending on the length of this. And uh, if you got something out of this, if this sparks something in you, uh, then feel free to subscribe to this channel. Feel free to comment, leave a comment. I appreciate all your comments. And uh, let me know your thoughts as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in another video. Bye for now.